what disciplines are that you learned in swimming that you can use throughout your life? Disciplines, or rather the, the key lesson, I think, is, uh, it sounds like such a cliche, to swim your own race. You know, we're always told, swim your own race. And uh, there's a really, that's sort of core to my message, an actual experience I had where I swam my own race and then didn't, and the flop it ended up being, and then, but that's a very catalyst for Atlanta's performances. And um, I find that if I look at my own life today, that's the challenge that I still face daily, that to remember that I have a journey that's designed for me or a destiny that I believe God has purposed for me and equipped me accordingly. But it's so easy if you have a road to travel to, to veer off because we're so busy looking around, trying to either live up to someone else's expectation, mm -hmm. the voices in our heads, perhaps we say live up to the Joneses. Yeah. But so many people I believe are missing their purpose in life and their individual destinies because they're either swimming someone else's race or they, from time to time, looking around and getting distracted. And you know, swimming as a sport is a very measurable thing. It's very, it's, it's like nice parameters, nice neat little box. So you can see exactly when are you, when, when are you swimming your own race and when you're not. Life isn't like that. And human nature is, we have to fight against the sense of I'm not measuring up because mm. I'm not where that one is. Right. So it's not really a competition per se, but it's it, there's always, I think, this attack on our identity um, in the sense that, mm -hmm. am I being good enough? My belief is that if as an individual you are the best that you can be, what more can you want? It's this desire to live life to the fullest and mm. just be the best you can, then the pressure's off.